So let's dig in a little bit deeper here, Kimmy. You're not only playing songs many would call pure country. Uh, you've frequently been compared to Patsy Cline. Your band, West Side Twang, adds to that. They've been compared to the Jordanaires, Patsy's backing band. You hail from San Diego, which to those of us on the east part of the country don't necessarily correlate much with country music. So where does this sound and proclivity for old school country come from for you? Um, I don't even, I don't have a cool story for it. I just love like the country politan <laughs> era and, uh, and I wanted to recreate it. And to me, Patsy Cline and specifically the work with the Jordanaires, then with, with Elvis as well is something I'm very passionate about. And I, and that's just a lost art and music and I, I love it. So I wanted to bring it back. Um, and that's, yeah, that's the simple reason of, um, I guess, why it gets those kind of comparisons. But they're a huge influence, obviously. Yeah. Good enough. <laughs> is, is that, like Patsy Cline, is that the kind of music you grew up with? Um, was the country influence from parents or friends? Or did you kind of migrate that way as you got older and explored more music? Yeah, I, I migrated that way as I got older and explored music. I don't, I didn't, I don't have a super, I don't have a musical family. I'm the only one that does it. And, uh, um, and I was a total late bloomer to discovering old school music. Like, I don't even think I knew who the Beatles were until I was 17 or 18. And, uh, and then once oh. I, this guy, I know, I know it's shocking. And, uh, once I discovered, <laughs> Uh, that I just kind of went down the rabbit hole and country's always suited my voice. Well, I loved country female singers of the nineties. Um, but once I went backtracked even further and, uh, discovered the female singers of the fifties and the sixties, that's where my voice really wanted to sit. So I, I, I think I read somewhere you talking about that sort of exploration to, find your voice and the style of music that fits your voice best. Um, I have no singing talent at all. So I would have no earthly clue uh, how to uh, understand that. I can't do that, but I'm curious, how would you describe to someone who's ignorant like me, how you find your voice and what, what about this song, these, these eras, these songs fits your voice versus other eras. I, I need to, I need to comprehend that better. <laughs> um, I don't even know how to answer that. I don't know how you find your voice. I guess for me, I'm not a classically or professionally trained singer. It's just all been through trial and error. And I was not always a good singer. Um, I It's a skill I learned. And I really, um, I always had music and singing in my heart. and But I had to really work at it. And um and find out, I don't know, everybody's voice is different. So you just got to find what I guess feels good to you. And to me, it feels really natural to sing songs in the style of a Patsy Cline-esque uh, kind of ballad in that kind of a range that she has is similar to my range. So um, I don't know. I've just, I don't know how you find your voice. You just, I, for me, it was just through tri <laughs> trial and error and many years of doing it. <laughs> well, I can't write songs like Tom Waits, but I sure as shit can sing like him. So I think, I think, I think I got a future in this business. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, it's worked for Kimmy. It, it's worked out for her. So I guess a part of finding your voice, you know, let's talk a little bit about the country scene in San Diego. So I imagine there's plenty of like Tejano and Latin influence and the music there and of course we know california is well known for the bakersfield bakersfield sound um but that's not exactly close to san diego so what is this scene like um san diego scene is cool i feel like country music is really on the upswing and getting really popular right now and um especially the throwback all country scene um americana music and um, I, the coast are always kind of the forefronts for setting a lot of trends. And so San Diego is up and ready. They're ready for it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's cool. There's, it's, there's, it's definitely not a huge country scene by any means. Um, but it, 
there is a crew of people. And when I play, people come out in their cowboy boots and they're ready to dance. And it's a good old time. (laughs) 